What if I told you that you can have a personal AI assistant living right inside your Obsidian world? An AI that not only understands and remembers everything you have written, but also chats with you, answers your questions, and even help you come up with new ideas, getting references from your own knowledge base. And get this, it's completely free and it's offline. So you never have to compromise your privacy. In this video, we are going to unlock the true power of Obsidian by integrating with a local and privacy-friendly AI. This game-changing combination will allow you to chat with your notes like you are having a conversation with a friend who just happens to have a knowledge of everything you have ever written within Obsidian. You can get AI-powered insights, summaries, and suggestions based on your own knowledge base with references to exactly where the information came from within your world. And you can even brainstorm and ideate just like you would normally do with other tools like ChatGPT and Cloud AI, but without ever leaving the comfort and security of your local environment. And best of all, it's completely free and works offline. So you never have to worry about your data being sent to the cloud or falling into the wrong hands. Look, I know it sounds almost too good to be true, but the rate of advancement in AI technology is pretty crazy right now. And we have to take advantage of these incredible tools that are at our disposal. So let's dive in and see how you can turn Obsidian into the ultimate AI-powered, privacy-friendly second brain that you have always dreamed of. We will be using LLMs, large language models, in order to run AI locally. For that, we'll need to install an application called OLLAMA. You can go to browser and source for OLLAMA and you can get this website, OLLAMA.com. Open it. This app helps to run large language models within the local environment. Run LLAMA2, Core LLAMA and other models, customize and create your own. So this is available for all Mac OS, Linux and Windows system. I am on Mac, so I'll just click on download and it will take me to this download page. Click on download and it will start downloading the application. I'll go to open folder. And here we have the zip file. I'll just unzip it. And this is the OLLAMAF. I'll just move it to the application folder from Finder. Now let's launch the application OLLAMA. Done. Now the OLLAMA application is running. But how do you integrate the LLAMA application or the language models, large language models with Obsidian? We'll be using an Obsidian Comte plugin called Smart Second Brain. So I'll just go to Obsidian World and you can go to Settings. Go to Comte plugin and source for a smart second brain. It currently has around 4000 downloads. Click on install. This plugin lets you interact with your privacy focused assistant by leveraging OLLAMA or OpenAI and making your second brain even smarter. Now, once you enable, you can go to options. Here are a few settings that you can configure. Whether you want to auto start the smart second brain when Obsidian starts or not, I'll just enable it. And here you can exclude certain files and folders that you don't want the AI to index because uh, indexing the files in your vault will take a long time. So if there are certain files that you don't want to index or if there are files or nodes uh, that are not much important, then you can add those files to exclusion over here. You can either add files or you can also add folders. So I'll just leave it default here. And here are a few other settings to configure OLLAMA. You can also run this smart second brain with third party services. It only supports OpenAI currently, but since we are talking about free and local AI, we'll be using this OLLAMA app instead of OpenAI. So Here's the OLLAMA base. And here you can select the different language models that are available, such as LLAMA2, Mixtral, Gemma, Dolphin Mixtral, etc. I'll just choose LLAMA2 for now. And here is the option for embedding model, which will index your nodes. This model will be used to index your node. So these are the available options right now. And the creator of this plugin suggested that MX by embed large gets the best result. So I'll just choose that one. 
and here are some advanced settings that you can change such as documents to retrieve the maximum amount of documents to retrieve from your vault when you query or when you ask questions to the AI. now we are all set with this plugin i already have installed the llama2 model so i just switch to another model such as jema so that i can show you from the beginning on how you can configure it and i'll just choose a different embedding model now let's get back and go to command palette and search for smart second brain this will open the option to open chat click on it and this will open this chat window welcome to smart second brain your personal ai assistant that helps you find and process information in the nodes first we need to install the olla ma app now we'll need to copy this code and add it to our terminal go to terminal and add that code close the terminal and click on test now everything is working correctly now we'll need to install the language model you can do it by the terminal as well uh, if you go to this olla ma app and go to this model section uh, you will be able to see all of these uh, language models that are available you can go to the language model copy this command paste it into your terminal and it will be downloaded to your uh, system but we can also do it uh, directly by the uh, smart second brain app click on install and it is installing the embedding model choose the embedding model which you have chosen mx by image large and start your second brain here you have the option to install the language model i selected the jema language model so i'll click on install and the file size for the jema model is around 5 gb so i'll get back to you once the download finishes hi welcome back we are at 99% download right now so let's wait for a few seconds okay the download is finished now so we'll need to reinitialize the smart second brain now this will start indexing your vault depending on the size of your vault and the number of nodes that you have in your vault the indexing will take time currently this is a vault and i have just added some of the nodes from my personal vault here atomic nodes there are around 250 nodes in this vault currently so it is indexing and it did not take long time for indexing but if the size of your vault is very large then it will take a lot of time and you can also reduce the time it takes to index your nodes by going to settings and excluding certain files and folders that you don't want the ai to index let's get back now we have set up a completely free and completely offline ai within our obsidian world we can chat with the ai directly from our vault we can either let the ai take context from our knowledge base or we can just chat with its own knowledge base so this octopus icon that you can see here if you toggle this off it will respond to your queries based on its own data training but if you toggle this on and this is a powerful octopus icon then it will take in context all the nodes that it has previously indexed so i'll just toggle off this octopus icon and just chat with it normally hi how are you and it is responding to me so you can ask questions and it will answer the question so i can ask what is a large language model and it will respond to my query based on its own training data large language models are class of generative ai models trained on vast amounts of text data so this is a response from the local ai and i'm using the gemma model here you can also switch to a different model if you switch to a different model then it will again have to re-index all of your nodes so i'll not do that right now this is you chatting with the ai using gemma model and you have toggled off this octopus icon i'll just delete this and toggle on this icon now the ai will take in context all of these nodes that are in my vault so you can just ask questions how to uh, so there are some notes about reading in my vault so i just ask the question how to read and if it says no notes retrieved then you have to reduce this similarity and i'll just lower down the creativity as well 50 percent and i'll lower the similarity to similarity to 75 percent so i just ask it how to read and it just gave me an answer based on its own training data and it has also created some links to notes which are not existing in our world 
So this is one of the limitation with the plugin currently, but I hope the developer will fix this in future because it creates links to nodes that are not existing in your world. In this query, how to read it retrieved no nodes. Uh, so I'll just lower it to around 30 and I'll reinitialize the query how to read. And now it's retrieving some files. I'll just use a query based on one of the node. What is 100 hour rule? It did not give the answer that I was expecting because I guess it was not able to retrieve the node. So I'll just ask it again. What is 100 hour rule? And I had not used the Gemma model previously. I was using the Mistral model and LLA MA2 model and they were working uh, pretty good. If this does not work, I'll switch to the Mistral model. So I'll just go to chat model and switch to Mistral. And also I'll choose embedding model as Mistral. So I'll reinitialize re the smart second brain and it will re-index all of the nodes in my vault. Previously, the indexing for these 250 nodes was done within a couple of minutes, but now it's taking around six to seven minutes. I hope this gives me better answers. And I think it's because this Mistral model does the work better. So I'll just wait till the indexing completes. Okay, the smart second brain is initialized now and the indexing is finished. So I'll just delete this node and ask the same question. What is under our rule? And let's see uh, what answer we get. We have the similarity at 20%, creativity at 50%. Now the answer is pretty close to what was in this note. Let's talk about another thing. What is imposter syndrome? I asked it a question about imposter syndrome and it did not get it pretty correct based on what I had written in my vault. But I think it was because I had the creativity set at 100% and now I have lowered it. And I asked a question by lowering the creativity. What are some notes related to imposter syndrome in my world? So here are some notes. Imposter syndrome, fear is not real. The retrieval of notes and the information from the notes is not perfect, but it will improve over time. And it will depend mainly on the language model you are using. You can use third party services like OpenAI, which are very good. And also there's a language model I found Mixtral, which is called Mixtral and it's on par with the capabilities of GPT 3.5. So Mixtral is local free and its results are on par with the GPT 3.5. So it's uh, pretty good to use, but it will require a lot of resources. Uh, you will need to have a very powerful PC. The size of the uh, Mixtral language model is like six to seven times compared to these ones like LLM A2 and Mistral. The Mixtral model is nearly 25 GBs. Uh, you will need to have a really powerful PC to use that one. But the responses and results from Mixtral AI are pretty good. It's pretty impressive when a local language model is on par with uh, a GPT 3.5. Mixtral might be the best open source model currently. So I'll leave it on to you for research. You can use LLAMA2 or Mistral and you can use embedding model as any of these. The creator of this plugin said that MXY embed large model works pretty good as well. So I'll just choose LLA MA2 and MXY embed large and I'll just re-index my vault again. Let's see how this works. So it indexed the node pretty quickly and now it's reducing to 40 nodes. The similarity is 20%. So it's getting information from those 47 nodes. I'll just increase the similarity to 34% and increase the creativity to 50% and I'll ask the question again by deleting this entire chat. Now this is working perfectly. I was uh, using this combination previously but I forgot I was using this one. So the answers, the results were not that great. So uh, you can check it out. I'm using LLA MA2 uh, as a chat model and I'm using MX by embed large as an embedding model. So I asked it a question, what is imposter syndrome, right? And it is responding based on the reference taken from my note. As you can see, it is linking to my note, regardless of their background. According to this note, imposter syndrome is particularly common among creatives and high achievers. And you can see this is a reference from which the AI is responding, right? If I click on one of these references, you can see it will take me to that note get over the fear of being embarrassed. And this note is definitely related to imposter syndrome. 
And here is another reference. You can see how to be valued for what you know. And this is also somehow related to imposter syndrome. So this is a really cool way to chat with AI. I'm using LLAMA2 model as a chat model and MX by embed large model as a embedding model. So this is the best uh, combination that I think that currently exists. But if your system is very powerful, then you can also try to use the mixture model. Okay. I'll ask it a few more questions like what is under our rule and let's see if it gets it right this time and it's getting it right it is giving me a reference to the note under our rule note from my world and it is also summarizing that note from my world so this is pretty good and I'm not currently connected to internet yet I'm able to use AI so this is a really cool Obsidian plugin and a really cool Obsidian integration. Uh, another thing that you can do with all of these chats is you can save these chats. You can save a chat to a note and it will be saved over your world chats. And this is a new chat. If you don't want the AI to take in context all the content of your world, then you can toggle off this option and you can chat with the AI model based on its own training data. You can delete the chat like this. So this is a really cool Obsidian integration. I hope you found a lot of value in this video. If you found the video useful, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel because I'll be coming with some really cool Obsidian stuff in the future. Have a great time. See you next time. Bye bye.